Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to join you today for this very important and highly topical issue. With nearly a quarter of a billion people infected, more than 4.6 million deaths, and ongoing devastation to economies, this global health crisis continues to rage on. Even that there are now COVID-19 vaccines available, why is that? The principal reason is the huge disparity in global access to these vaccines. In a globalized world such as ours, the very nature of infectious disease means that until people in all corners of the world are protected, this virus will continue to circulate. A new and potentially more dangerous variants like the Delta variant will emerge. That puts everyone at risk, including those fully vaccinated. Yet 10 months after the first COVID vaccines were approved, we are still a long way from that. Less than 2% of people in low-income countries have received their first shot, compared to 66% or more of people in the wealthiest nations. This appalling and acceptable disparity urgently needs to be rectified. But sadly, we should not be surprised. Huge gaps in global health existed long before this pandemic. COVID has shown the spotlight on these inequalities and in many ways has amplified them. However, with COVID-19, we have a global solution uh, in COVAX, which was created last year precisely to make equitable access to these vaccines possible. So far, COVAX has delivered around 300 million doses to people in 141 countries, the majority of whom would otherwise struggle to get them. COVAX has shown that it can deliver vaccines anywhere in the world. But why couldn't it do more? Because we had no doses, because there were export restrictions, because some countries were accumulating too many doses that indeed they did not need for their own population, and also because there were some problems of supply and some bottlenecks in production. But now, as COVAX supplies ramp up, and uh, it works to deliver 1.4 billion doses by the end of the year, the message that no one is safe until everyone is safe is finally starting sinking in. As the pandemic persists, governments are recognizing that the only way out of this crisis is by addressing these global disparities. And so as we start to see governments no longer focus solely on their domestic response, but also looking to global solutions. And they are now beginning to throw their full weight behind COVAX, which means we have an opportunity, not just uh, an opportunity to end this pandemic, but an opportunity that can help bridge these long standing health gaps. The potential benefits of doing so are huge. Not only will it help bring us closer to the sustainable development goal of universal health coverage, but it will also increase the chances that we never have to face a global health crisis on this scale again by helping to improve pandemic preparedness. So what is the solution now if you want to end this pandemic? As co-lead of COVAX, Gavi has a central role to play there too, helping to make what is effectively the largest and most complex global vaccine ever a reality. And that's what we are doing. Wealthy governments can help get us there quicker by donating more doses to COVAX, making them available immediately, or by giving up their place in the supply line so COVAX and lower income economies can access these doses quicker. This could help save the global economy 2.3 trillion US dollars, according to the IMF. Manufacturers also have a role to play by ensuring greater transparency on their order books and delivery timelines by creating a more level playing field to ensure that they don't put profit ahead of ending the pandemic, waiving requirements for indemnification for the humanitarian buffer as well. By providing millions of COVID-19 doses to people in the 92 lower income economies that would otherwise not be able to afford them, the Gavi COVAX advanced market commitment is the only truly global solution to equitable access. But to do that, it needs global support. That is the only way to bridge any global health gap. I believe we will do it, but for that, we need 
this commitment to solidarity. I thank you.